what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Cincinnati mother is under investigation by Child Protective Services after she hired two strippers to perform at her son's 14th birthday party. Family, taste level notwithstanding, it happened during quarantine. The city was on lockdown and they're having a party with strippers and a 14 year old and his friends. The mother took photos and videos and uploaded it to social media. She says she has no regrets. After all, they're 14 year old boys and the strippers were only giving them lap dances. There was no sexual favors happening. By a show of hands, who out there have a problem with the mother hiring strippers to give lap dances to her 14 year old son and his friends. Here's why I raise my hand. Life is about levels. The reason why parents oftentimes would tell their kids to hold off on having sex is not because sex is a bad thing. Sex is a very natural thing. It's a natural urge in human beings. But parents would tell you to hold off because they understand that the older you are, in most cases, the better equipped psychologically and emotionally and spiritually you'll be to handle the consequences that comes with having sex, i.e. pregnancy. STDs, rejection, all of that stuff. I can't see you, but I can read the mind of some of you already. Man, I wish my mama would have thrown me a birthday party with some strippers when I was 14. Yeah, you don't see anything wrong with it until your 14 year old comes home with a baby that he can't take care of and hands him to you and say, Daddy, Mama, I need some help. I can't afford no milk. Can you help me get these diapers? 14 is too young for boys to be having lap dances. Uh, listen, even grown men, there are a number of grown men who can't even handle lap dances and what comes with that. These dudes gripping these women's butts and stuff like that, they're gonna take that out into the world most likely and they'll probably be disrespectful to young ladies out there, maybe some of your children, some of your girls who are out there will have to deal with these little boys and that mentality where they are sexualizing young women, objectifying young women. See, we can't like try to protect our daughters, shield our daughters and warn our daughters of all the dangers and trying to make them to be somewhat virtuous. And at the same time, just allowing our boys to do anything they want to do and congratulating them when they get a little taste of it. You see, patting them on the back when they got two or three or four or five girlfriends and they having sex and they bringing condoms home. You're not questioning anything. Well, you know, DC ain't gay. You dig what I'm saying? No, there is responsibility that comes with that when, you, when your boy is 14, 13, 12, whatever age he is, 16, 17, that's the same amount of responsibility should be given to him, the same amount of expectations uh, should be given to your boys as you give to your girls. This way, we are dealing with the problem from both angles. If you're only dealing with it from one angle, just like with rape, people are always talking about 
what women should do to protect themselves. And women got to walk around with mace and guns and uh, don't dress too provocative and, you know, don't, don't, don't lead a man on and, you know, don't put yourself in this type of situation. Don't drink too much. You know, watch where you go. You know, watch your drink all the way. You know, watch how to, who's making you drink and be careful and all of this stuff. But we're not talking to the boys who are oftentimes the perpetrators of this. We're not talking to the males. We're not having that conversation. If we have those type of conversations more often, then we can reduce a lot of these sexual assaults. Imagine if Donald Trump mama would have had a conversation with him and his daddy would have had a conversation with him early on. Imagine Epstein, Jeff Epstein's parents would have had a conversation with him about how to respect women, how to deal with his sexual urges. Perhaps he'd still be alive. Perhaps he wouldn't have destroyed so many young women's lives. Not even just women, girls' lives. If you don't think 14 is too young for a boy to be having lap dances, flip the script. What if it was a girl getting a lap dance from a grown man? Yeah. See? Girls got feelings too. My niece questions her mother about why she allows her son to do certain things, but won't let her do it. She's a lot more protective of her daughter going out into the night and jumping into an Uber, as opposed to her son. She feels like he can take care of himself a little bit more. But these young girls, they have feelings also. And all they see is that you're being biased. You're giving him special treatment. So what if the girl was 14 and you had grown men waving their privates all in her face? Would that be cool? If it was your daughter, your granddaughter? It's cool if it's your sister? This is why we're having such a hard time because we're hypocrites. We're, we're a hypocritical society. This, this bias that we have, it's ridiculous. It's just like when teachers and other type of professionals who are females get caught up in sexual assault cases. It's all funny. You know, it's not, it's not such a big deal. But if it's a man, they're going to try to bury him. This is why we're having so many problems in this society. There really isn't any consistency. 14, way too young. And what if it was a 14-year-old girl giving the 14-year-old boy a lap dance? Would y'all be cool with that? I don't know. Maybe it's me. I can tell you one thing. The mother is, is beating her own drum right now. But they're going to handle her. She will be prosecuted. Because they are going to say that that is some form of child neglect and child abuse. And she will pay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. No more talk. What the haters talking about?